Welcome everyone to Mr. Adobe where you get prime educated videos on Adobe Premiere, Adobe Photoshop and Adobe After Effects. Before getting into the video, please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already and don't forget to hit the notification bell. Without further ado, Mr. Adobe will be guiding you through today's video. Hello everyone, welcome to another cool and easy to follow tutorial on Adobe After Effects. In this video, I'm going to show you guys how to create realistic water with some simple steps. So guys, let's get started. First and foremost, create a new composition. Go to the timeline and create a new solid layer. For instance, I'm naming my solid layer water effect. Now go to the effects and control panel, search for fractal noise and drag and drop it over the water effect layer. In the effects control panel, you will find the settings of fractal noise. So let's apply the following to the settings. Set the fractal noise to dynamic, the noise type to linear, the contrast to 123, and the brightness to minus 10. Now click on transform to drop down its options. Set scale to 150. Enable the keyframes of offset turbulence. And set the keyframes at the initial and ending point following the process on your screen. After that, I'm going to easy ease both my keyframes. For that, select the layer, hit the U key, and select both the keyframes and right click on the time graph. Choose Keyframes Assistant and Easy Ease, or you can directly press the F9 key for shortcut. So let's get back to the tutorial. Go to the Effects Control Panel, enable Expression for Evolution by holding the Alt key, and right click on the stopwatch icon and set the Evolution setting as Time times 150. Now, let's set the watery color. To do so, go to Effects, Color Correction and select Tritone. You can easily set the watery look by setting the option under the Tritone effect. Select Water Effect layer and pre-compose it. And don't forget to click on Move All Attributes into the new composition. Then click on OK. Again, apply CC Glass Effect to our pre-composed layer. Under this set, I am setting the softness to 40, height to 70 and displacement to minus 100. Hit the spacebar to see the composition scene. It's looking great. After that, add a text. I'm using the words realistic water. However, you can use any word that best suits your project. Now I want to add blur to my text layer. For the blur, go to effect, blur and sharpen and choose CC vector. Set your desired blur amount to your text and double click on the double effect composition 1. Copy and paste the water effect layer in the realistic water composition or the main composition at the very top. Select the top layer and delete the tritone effect from it. Pre-compose the water effect layer and name it as displacement map. Now select the text layer and apply the displacement map to it. In the displacement map effect, set displacement map layer to displacement map, maximum horizontal and vertical displacement to 20. Finally, it's done. So let's check our final composition. It looks amazing. That's it for today. If you like the video, Please thumbs up and let me know if you thought it was helpful in the comment section down below. 
Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe us for more interesting tutorials on Adobe Photoshop, Adobe Premiere and Adobe After Effects. Till then, stay original, stay creative and have a good time. Thank you.